Welcome again, my friends, to Jorvik Stables Open House Event. We're here again on Time Gazer in Jorvik Stables. Super excited. Last time we were riding instructors. Never done that before. That was exciting. And now I believe Joanna still has some things for us to do. So we're going to check in with her and find out what's going on. And who knows? Maybe we'll make our way over to Conrad, too, to finish those horseshoes. <laughs> A race, not quite for everyone. I spoke to Stein about something while you were busy taking pictures. Apart from our regular racetrack, we're going to be organizing an extra race, only for experienced riders. Stein and I would love to give you the honor of opening the race and being the very per first person to ride it this year. Do they know how not expert I am at racing? <laughs> oh, how fun that you want to try it out. Good luck and show me your best skills. Oh, okay. We'll try. We'll try. We'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, more banners. Yay. I love the banners. They're like, hey, Stacy, jump here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, this way. Excellent. We're doing all right. Some quick succession jumps. Oh no, I jumped too early. Just gotta take it slow for those. Don't forget. Uh, this way. Oh, Paddock Island. We'll say hello to the Shires. Oh, we don't get to go up that far. It's okay, we'll yell from over here. Hey Shires. <laughs> Are we still going the right way? Yes. I see those flags. Let's slow down. Okay, made it through, made it through. Ooh, hello swans. <laughs> oh, an uphill jump. Oh no, what? What? That was difficult. Oh no. It's all right, Time Gazer. You're still, still learning. Only level three. <laughs> we did it. We're almost there. This race was fun, even though it was more experienced. Nice. Great job, buddy. Johanna, we did it. And we did pretty well, if I do say so myself. Only a couple of hiccups. Wow, that was fast. Best rider in town. I know you're not talking about me. You're quite simply one of the best riders I've ever seen. When you fly by on Time Gazer, it feels like no obstacle could, obstacle could ever get in your way. I'm so excited. I'm so flattered. I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for all of the help you've given me and Stein. We couldn't have done it without you. Now, why not take the chance to take it easy and enjoy the events? If you want to have a go at any of the races again, you just have to ask me. <gasps> and we get a shirt. Of course, I've almost forgot. Here's a little present for me and Stein to say thanks for helping out. Hope you like it. Oh, it's super cute. Thank you. Awesome. Let's see, do we have another skirt? We have a blue skirt. I think I'm wearing the gloves from the Fortuna event. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we have here that matches? Oh, we've got our black pants. Now, because we raised our reputation here in Jarlaheim, a quest unlocked with Stein over here, not related to the open house event. Herman on vacation. Listen, Nova, it feels like we've become firm friends since you started working here and because we saved your behind, sir. I promised Herman not to say anything, but I trust you. And if you really want to meet him, I'll tell you where he is. He's not far off on vacation, only a few meters away, actually. He never went on vacation. He's been hiding in his house to get away from Jack and be alone with some new project of his. I know, pretty clever or what? He'll open the door if you do a secret knock. Do it like this. Knock like this three times. Correct, you've got it. Do as I've told you and Herman will surely open the door. Oh, oh. Okay, Herman's house, right there. One of my favorite houses in 
Yarlaheim, I would have to say. Here we are. Uh, Herman's outside already. I think he jumped the gun a little bit. So let's go do our secret knock and pretend he's not there. Awesome. Now he's there. Yay, hey, Herman. <laughs> What's going on? Stein, what is it? Who are you? How come you know the secret knock? Well, I'm Nova. So Stein eventually told you where to find me? Oh, well, I guess it was unavoidable. What do you want? Take over Jack's job as mayor. I neither want nor have time to be mayor. The three major families in the county should be able to handle this themselves. I'm doing much too important work myself, you see. Everything isn't what it appears to be. The GED has something big and sinister going on. Sir, we specialize in big and sinister. Wait, we cannot speak here. You never know who might be listening. Come inside and I'll tell you more. Oh, okay. Inside Herman's house, huh? Oops. I messed it up. Oh, here we go. Herman, sir. What do you have to tell us? Can I trust you? I think so. It feels like you possess a special force. A force that I recognize. All right, I'll go with my gut feeling and trust you. You see, I need help moving forward with a mystery I'm trying to solve. Where did Mayor Evelyn go exactly? Well, I'm glad somebody's concerned. There are many sinister things going on in the Harvest Counties these days, Nova. GED is in the middle of some big secret project. You might have seen them collecting samples around here. And if they're involved in Mayor Evelyn's disappearance, I'm certain. Everything is connected, but I have no proof. Here is where you come in. This is how it is. Nova GED has somehow been allowed to search for minerals all around Yarlaheim. How they got permission, I don't know, but there is no way they've obtained it legitimately. There's some funny business going on, most definitely, and they're behind the disappearance of Mayor Evelyn as well. Although, I'm not yet sure how. GED's head in Yarlaheim, a certain Ms. Drake, is extremely suspicious of me and avoids me like the plague. But she doesn't know you. Uh, she might know me a little bit. <laughs> Get my drift? If you, whom she doesn't know, could win her confidence, you would certainly be able to find out what they're doing around here. Would you help me find out what GED is doing here in the Harvest Counties? What are they really up to, and are they behind Evelyn's disappearance? You'll do it? Good. Ride off and speak to Miss Drake and see if you can get employment with her. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks, we're gonna need it with her. Ms. Drake? Employment here? You? <laughs> Wait, let me just wipe off the tears. You would like to work for us? Please, we don't hire wimps. At our company, you need to be fierce and merciless to get a job. What, you are fierce and merciless? Would you be willing to betray your friends for a raise? Fraud senior citizens for their last dime for a higher bonus? Level a natural reserve to the ground for a free lunch? You would? Hmm. I did all that when I was about your age. Maybe you're just the one I'm looking for. Okay, you'll be undertaking the GED's standardized employment test. If you succeed, you'll get a probationary position here. We're starting now. Are you ready? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Do you have what it takes? Um, one of your employees arrives five minutes late for work. He says that he is late because he is forced to drive his sick grandmother to the hospital. What do you do? How would Miss Drake handle this? Mercilessly. Fire him on the spot. Fire him and sue him for GED's lost income. Fire him, sue him, and his grandmother for all they have. Well, the last one seems to be the worst choice, so that's what we're going to go with. You receive a bonus if you increase your department's profit. What will you do to earn it? Hold an inspirational talk together to reach your goal. Fire the employees to increase profits by not having to pay salaries. You work extra hard and help your workers with their jobs. Mm. I want to say the middle one, but if you fire the employees, then nothing will get done. And you would have to do the work, but I I'm going to go with that one. An old farm seems to be located above a rich mineral deposit. How are you going to get the minerals? Offer the farmer a big and fair sum of money. Convince the farmer that mining the minerals will create jobs and improve the community. Poison their farm, put the farm under quarantine, and buy it cheap when the owner goes bankrupt. <laughs> the last one. What is your favorite color? Green like money, red like love, blue like the ocean in the sky. 
Well, it's blue, but we're going to say green like money. Wow, you got a perfect score. I never met a more sinister and ruthless person than you, Nova. Can it really be true? Congrats, that was really perfect. I'll teach you all I know, but if you betray me, I will hunt you to the ends of the world. Do not forget, no one fools Miss Drake and gets away with it. Put on these clothes, you need to look professional working for the GED. And since you're in our, your probation period, you won't be giving, we won't be giving you any pay. But that goes without saying. Oh. We must always ensure that our workers are doing their job. Anyone who doesn't is fired directly. So ride off to Exploration Station Alpha and make sure everyone is working as they should and report back to me afterwards. If you find someone lounging, relaxing, eating lunch, or using the restroom, I'll teach you the best firing techniques. <laughs> it's the best thing I know. No one can make people cry like me. Oh. I'm, I believe that. Our exploration hasn't yielded any results, Nova. We need to find some valuable minerals or metals soon, or I'll get fired by management. And remember, if I'm fired, you're fired as well. The management is merciless. If they fire me, mine and every other GED's workers' lives are destroyed forever. There isn't a more heartless bunch than GED's management. I respect them tremendously. Right off to Exploration Station Alpha and prospect, prospect some mineral samples from the stones that the workers have exposed. You think it best that Herman gets the mineral samples once you find them instead of Miss Drake. Duly noted. As you understand, our operation here near Arlheim isn't entirely successful. We must do everything we can to get results. Take this extremely threatening letter I've composed to our supervisor at Exploration Station Alpha. After he's read it, I guarantee he'll work harder so he won't get fired. <laughs> he'll push his staff even harder than himself, too. I love starting this kind of chain reaction. It's fortunate that the GED doesn't have a health plan for their employees. Then we'd have to pay millions for damages as we're pushing them harder than anyone else. Oh, sob. It's so beautiful to bring... It brings tears to my eyes. Oh, she's so cruel. <laughs> but she makes for an interesting character, at least. Okay, here we are. Oh, we've inspected uh, the personnel. Oh. Oh, this must be who we have to deliver the letter to. What do you want? A letter from Miss Drake? Oh. Report to her that we'll work even harder. She doesn't need to worry. She could trust me. And listen, if I should get fired, can you try to get her to change her mind? She doesn't need to make use of her contacts to expel my kids from school as well. Oh, that's really mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy. We're undercover. <laughs> Just tell him. <laughs> we didn't mean to. There's the mineral deposit. Use mining pick. Excellent. Three more samples. We're going to give Herman the report about the mineral samples. Nova, have you discovered anything? They're looking for valuable minerals, but haven't found any yet? Hmm. Ha! I have an idea! Okay. Let's deceive Ms. Drake properly! Here's how we'll do it. Let me swap these samples with this gravel from the stable's gravel path. I guarantee these pebbles are worthless. Bring these to Ms. Drake instead and see what she says. <laughs> we'll do. It's a nice place you got here, Herman. I like it. Hello, Madam Drake. You're back. Report. Everyone is working as they should. That's too bad. I was really looking forward to firing someone today. Do you have the mineral samples? Good. I'll send them for analyzing at our lab. Let's hope we found something. The management is starting to lose their patience. So, Nova, how do you like it here at GED? Is your dark heart's hunger satisfied by the misery you're spreading? It's wonderful. You really have potential. I'd like to make you my personal assistant, but you're too inexperienced. If you continue to work and make the errands I'm asking you to, I could probably give you a promotion soon. Work hard. I like you, but I'll gladly ruin your life if you betray me. You could start by fetching me a cup of coffee from Stable Box Coffee. That's easy enough. I think we could do that. I hope. Hello, Catherine. We're here for some coffee. Coffee for Miss Drake? 
Wait, I'll get it at once. Oh, concentrate. I must make it precisely like she wants it. Get it? Otherwise, she's promised to tear the cafe to the ground and construct a landfill here instead. Do not disturb me. Here's Miss Drake's coffee. It's completely black without sugar or milk, precisely like she wants it. Hurry back to her. Okay, Catherine, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stress you out. <laughs> Here's your coffee, black like your soul. Let me taste the coffee quite bitter and after burned aftertaste. Perfect. Nova, I'm going to give you errands to run every day from now on. Make them and show some diligence, and I might promote you to be my personal assistant. I really need a new one. My old one forgot I'm not using milk in my coffee, so I was forced to fire him and banish his entire family from their family farm. Ha <laughs> ha, good times. Remember that, Nova. I want my coffee black as my heart. Um, okay, so we have to visit Miss Drake every day and work on quests for her. We don't, but I do. And I will. I'll continue to work with Miss Drake so we can level up that reputation and unlock Epona. Yes. We're here, Conrad, for the last blacksmithing day. Hello, Nova. Today is the last day of work on your new horseshoes. Listen carefully and follow my instructions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. We are very ready to have these horseshoes. <gasps> we finished. Oh, we finally finished. Do we have new horseshoes now, Conrad? Excellent work, Nova. Now your horseshoes are ready. They're really the best quality and should make all the other riders green with envy. I can feel the energy in them all the way from over here. Here you are, your very own horseshoes made by you. You won't find more powerful horseshoes than this anywhere. Oh, I'm so very excited. Thank you. After all that work, we finally got our, your own handmade horseshoe. Strength plus three, swiftness plus two, discipline plus three, and agility plus two. Excellent. Signing off today from Conrad's area with our new horseshoes. Yay. And we did some work with the GED. Ugh. As horrible as it is, it's, you know, the means to the ends. We're going to save the day. I hope, eventually. <laughs> Elizabeth asked some excellent questions lately. If I could add any horse to Star Sable, what would it be? I've previ previously mentioned I really like the curly horses, and that would be so much fun to have in the game. I think Shetland ponies would be adorable. They'd have to be maybe companion pets or companion horses instead of horses that you ride. But I'd still love to see them because they're super cute. And whatever makes you guys excited makes me excited. So I know so many of you want the Lippets Honors in the game and Tennessee Walking Horses, Mustangs. There's a whole list of breeds that you guys talk about all the time. And I get excited about those because everyone else is excited about those. So I'd like to see many additions to Star Stable. She also asked which horse, uh, which is Icelandic horse I would get once I get to Epona. That's a difficult decision. I really like the brown and white one. Or maybe the silver one with the brown hair. Or the brown one. Ooh, what about the black one? Oh, that's such a difficult choice. I cannot wait to see their cute little faces in the game myself and be able to choose. Which one do you have? What is your favorite? Which one do you think I should get? Let me know in the comments, because I need to start planning now, because it's going to be such a difficult decision when I get there. <laughs> so thank you guys for all of your comments and discussions under the videos. I love it, and thank you again for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye!